So Howard Shue up against Derwina, never met before. And the winner takes on Pablo Abian or Tommy Sugiato. 65th in the world right now, Howard Shue. He, one of his most recent outings was at the Pan Am Games, the Pan American Games in July, left to uh, Coven Corden in that one. And you can see it's a pretty evening win-loss ratio in 2015. Reached the final in a, an event in Brazil. But then lost in a row, China Masters at the US Open. Things have improved in July. Made the quarterfinals uh, at the White Knights event in Russia. Yeah, it's, it's, I think um, when you look at his win-lose uh, record, um, it also shows that uh, the wins that he has uh, is in smaller tournaments and not like the World Championship. Well, this man's a gift form semi-finalist at the uh, Open Chinese Taipei. Last month lost to Chen Long, also made the semis at the China Masters, beaten by another Chinese player, Wang Zhengming. So he has had some first-round exits, but, you know, there's enough there to suggest He's one of those players, Wei Nan, that looks on his day when he's playing really, really well, almost unstoppable at times, but uh, maybe not quite as consistent as he would like. Just to tell you, Michael Friedal of uh, Norway is our umpire. Uh, he has a brilliant attack, and uh, and when that one works for him, he is very difficult playing against. Uh, on the other hand, if, uh, if his opponent uh, ha get him out running, and uh, working hard for, uh, in the rallies or for his points, then uh, he doesn't like that too much. They've never met before. Both players have, though, played in the World Championships uh, last year. Not this man, but a uh, bit of an upset in the seeded Kento Momoto after the Japanese Japan performed so well, of course, and, and win the Thomas Cup. Lost in the last 16 Gentlemen, in the end. let's start. <laughs> well, the umpire suggested that he's ready, but uh, the players aren't quite yet ready. Oh, why not just uh, show the umpire who... Uh, who's really deciding what to do on the court. <laughs> who's in charge, eh? Exactly. See how it's Shue out there just to... And that might be how it's chance in this match is that uh, Wainan could take a little uh, easy or uh, hope that it, this, what would, uh, this uh, match would be easy. Um, on my right, Howard and, Shue, uh, USA. And on my left, Maybe can Wainan, surprise him in the Hong beginning. Hong Kong, China. Howard Shue to serve. Love all, play. Well, I suppose some expectations on, on Wei Nan here. He is, after all, the first badminton medal winner at the Asian Games, won bronze One last love. year. One of those players who uh, can really produce the goods at the top level. Has that, a real nonchalance about his badminton, doesn't he? He does. He has a very nice techniques, and uh, and as I mentioned earlier, he has a very good attack, um, especially from his uh, round the head corner. Um, I've actually been coaching against him uh, in uh, Malaysia uh, this year uh, with uh, Hans Christian, um, and uh, one of the ideas was uh, to every time you have to lift to him, then you play his forehand corner. Smash both court, court and straight, uh, and he can also cut it cross court. Uh, so you need to get forward to the net. Uh, so um, you got to be diff uh, careful there. Yeah, and uh, quick as a flash, he just won another point as well. Five, one. And uh, at the moment, Howard should give him a bit of a run around.
just long. So to just, just remind us, what, what's the drift doing here, Jesper? Uh, yeah, don't ask me, please, because I actually, <laughs> thought, <laughs> I actually thought that uh, the drift was uh, from uh, the side that uh, we are sitting on. Uh, so Howard has the drift in his back, uh, but it, uh, it seems like also in the mixed doubles that Three, all of the lifts that five. actually went out was uh, on the side that uh, Howard's on now. So um, And also from outside, is it a little bit left to right as well? It could be, yes. Uh, I think it will change when uh, when the crowd comes in here. Uh, right now, it, uh, it's it's hard to say where the drift is. Fair enough. Six, Sorry about that. <laughs> Honesty is the best policy. Makes it look so easy, doesn't it? He does, yes, uh, and. Uh, Howard didn't really get the start that he wanted to. Um, I think uh, what's important here for him is to uh, try to make rallies, make one and work hard for the points. Um, four, but that's, he, really, he hasn't succeeded in that yet. Rally there, okay, hitting the tape. Service over. Five, nine. is ready after his serve but when I likes doing this uh, putting a soft high shot into the net or uh, close to the net and, and then trying to attack the next one or get the attack on that one uh, and uh, in that way when you serve you have to move far forward very fast seven nine well, he's in the match now Howard sure at least So Wayne Ann very much in charge here early on. 11 7. Well, thanks to a, a lightning fast start. 5 1 to the good very early on. Yeah, he's in charge and he takes the attack. That he does it, he needs to change that. And one of the, one of the ways to do that is that. Uh, you can play what we call the middle game. So instead of playing it short to the net, then you push the shots a little bit into the court and it's, it's more difficult Four for Anand to, to make seconds. these uh, tight Four net one. shots and get seconds. the lifts. Um, the coach has helped him out here. Eleven, seven, play. He shouldn't. He shouldn't try and uh, and take the fight at the net because that's not going to happen. He's not winning in that way. Eleven, 
So if that's not the way he's winning, how is he winning? He's, he should be trying to push the shots a little further into the court uh, at the net game. And then, uh, as you saw here also this match, he, when he lifts, he should be lifting towards the forehand corner of Wijnan and not the backhand corner. Of course, it's easier said than done. Uh, I'm not sure that he quite has the level to beat Wijnan no matter what he does. Uh, but. Uh, the, the way that he played the last few rallies is definitely not the way. Oh, fair enough. I mean, it's, it's, it's good to point out, really, when we're watching this match here, that and we'll see this. It was pretty close, wasn't it? And didn't take a challenge. So. The top level event, isn't he? Whereas Howard Shoe is it? I mean, he's played some Grand Prix gold level events, but Wayne Nan's playing all the Super Series events, isn't he? World rank number 20. Yeah, this is just the difference between uh, the players in the top 20 and uh, and the one uh, below 50. 15, nine. Yeah, Howard Shoe 65. The competition in men's singles is, is just very tough. Uh, it's not that how Chu is a bad player at all, but it's it's uh, it's just difficult, especially in the U.S., where you don't have uh, as many opponents to practice against as uh, as you have out here in Asia. Yeah, and he's playing men's doubles. Uh, I mean, a lot of the guys in singles play men's doubles as well. Howard concentrates on the singles, though. Well done. Very quite sober. a few players juggles uh, studies Ten, in badminton. 16. And it takes a little while to get your degree when you, you know, you take some time off from your degree, you, you know, you try to qualify for the last Olympics. Took some time out there, but uh, was just outside where he needed to be to qualify. And of course that is oh. the goal. Uh, 11. House is to try and get it Olympic frame again because of America being from that side of the world that the opportunity is greater than they are where the competition isn't quite so great because it's got to be a, a global thing hasn't it like it is here this week we've got a, an Egyptian pair obviously on next in the women's doubles 12, 16. yeah we see players from different part of the of the world uh, there's no doubt that uh, Asia is the dominant uh, part of the world in badminton uh, but it's nice to see uh, that uh, the Olympics has done that to badminton, that it's, it's, there are more players uh, from around the world, and that means both Africa and uh, South America also. In North America, they have been playing badminton uh, good, I think, back in the 60s, 70s, I think. And, uh, of course, Tony Gunawan, who uh, fellow coaches, uh, former Olympic champion in the last, dec in the last decade or so, isn't he? Yeah, he's been there for a long time now. Um, he moved there right after he stopped his uh, career. Actually, he continued playing uh, and also got the uh, world champion when he was playing for the US. Uh, Beat me a couple of times. It's just tightened up a little, hasn't it? I mean, how she's on a nice run of points here. Perry played the best badminton he has in the match so far. Yeah, he's uh, taking charge, uh, attacking a little more. I mean, that's uh, five points in a row, he's won. Yeah, that was smart, though. That was a chance to make it six as well. He knows it as well, a little anguished look. But I still think on his, he's in control. He uh, can speed this up, uh, gears extra. Always danger, you know. You might give the op your opponent the chance to get back in the match. Very yeah, nice. Down to one point now, the lead. 16, 17. 16, 9. Now just 17, 16. 
really given something for Howard Shu to fight for here when it looked beyond him this opening game. Yeah, you can also see the coach uh, from Vainan. He's moved a little forward in the chair, <laughs> trying to explain to him that uh, it might not come that easy. As, uh, as we also said earlier, Howard Shu is not a bad player, and if, if he doesn't, if Vainan doesn't play up to his best, then uh, he will, of course, take the chance. And there's a uh, short lift dispatched by Shu. In the beginning and middle of the set, Vainan was getting uh, high at the net, getting the lifts. Now he, uh, he took out the pace a little bit and, and is not getting as fast to the net. And this means that Howard uh, is controlling the game and he's, uh, he's first at the net every time. Um, still see why none is not moving 19, 17. and maybe this is also what Howard feels is that he's actually now he has the chance and then he starts making a few mistakes oh that's a nice shot Yeah, some encouragement 19. on the sidelines, as you'd expect. <coughs> That's a shame. Matt, uh, game points for Wei Nan. Yeah, how would be disappointed in 18. that one. That was not necessary, and uh, that was a good chance. Also starts a rally with playing him in the forehand 19, corner, which makes a difference. Uh, might be difficult to see, but uh, it works. Game. Well, it was a, a lot tighter than it looked. It might be at one stage, but still Wei Nan First game won by Wei Nan. gets the job done as far as the 19. opening game is concerned. 21 points to 19. Yeah, how I did well there. Um, he's still, uh, it's still hard. I think he needs to concentrate in the game, and that means that uh, sometimes he will make mistakes because he's just he's playing a little uh, over his normal level. Um, and especially this last shot again is that he he just shouldn't play these shots, uh, drop shots at the net because Wijnan will attack him, and and uh, that's not the right way. Uh, I think what he did uh, in the in the in the end of the game was that every time Van An uh, was attacking and then he pushed the next shot into the court and Van An then started lifting and Howard could attack that one. Crowds are starting to arrive. I got distracted just now by a gentleman who's, uh, I assume, dressed as the Garuda, which is the uh, the uh, national symbol, isn't it? That bird. Yeah. Starting to get a, a little taste of what uh, the Stora Senean's all about. Yeah, this is what uh, what will happen when uh, the Indonesia starts playing uh, here in Sanayan, but even also when uh, when there are no Indonesia, uh, this crowd is just uh, very special and and uh, so much fun to uh, to play here in Sanayan. pick up where he left off but just wonder whether Wayne Ann will be a little well as I say that he serves into the net as I say it'll be a little more this was actually what happened in the net and then the next few rallies he just kind of disappeared out of the game he maybe uh, got a little oh, 
Oh, there we have it. Two, one. Seems like the drift is picking up a little bit now. Uh, or maybe that lift was just short and in that way difficult uh, to make it clear and uh, for uh, why not? Just long term shoot. One of the things three. that can make Van Aan a little unsecure is actually his serve. He's not serving too well, and uh, and I know that the that the, the opponents usually try to put a lot of pressure on his serve. Uh. Five, three. And that's a positive start in terms of the scoreline now for Howard Shu, isn't it, to this second game? Okay, we now won that point, but 5 4 he leads. Four, five. Yeah, these shots that the one that he comes to now, he should be lifting straight instead of putting it over there. Oh, that's nice. Five, A little more four. speed from Van there. It's just, he just needs to get him away from that net. He is so sharp up there, uh, Wainan. Uh, that's just not the way to fight him. Eight, five. If he can, when he starts the rally, he should push it into the mid of the court. Uh, but it also Nine, five. In terms of deficit, it's quickly turned into a 9-5. Still struggling a little bit with that surf. That was it. Seven, nine. Yeah, and that's not a shot that you would think would the, the draft will uh, will pick up and then uh, it will go out, but um, I don't know. This time it did. Just wide from Howard Shoe. So way now with the interval lead. Interval. Just the way he started this match, you, th you thought he might 
just blitzed through and get through in double quick time. But credit to Howard Chu, who has uh, remained resilient throughout, but uh, is a game down, 11-9 down. So Wei Nan still very much in charge. Yeah, it's for me, it seems a little bit like Wayne uh, he's frustrated about his serve. He knows that if he's going to do well in this tournament, he needs to be able to serve well also. And uh, I don't know if, if that's the thing, maybe uh, tricking him a little bit and making him think uh, because he, he definitely has a hard time serving. And uh, and if uh, if that's not getting better when he is playing single players from the top 20 then uh, that's not going to be uh, him helpful yeah he needs to play a, a, a better level than he is right now isn't he if he's gonna get to the latter Seven, tournament. Nine, yeah so there's nine. no doubt that he and and not uh, not move too much um, 12, so uh, so i think he has another level in him too dispatched by Shu there. Service over, 10, 12. That's a nice shot. Normally over, he always 13, hits it hard, 10. but uh, when he mixes it up like this, then it's, it's difficult being in the defense. Service over. Yeah, that serve is, uh, 11, is not 13. good. Um, that's not even close to the tape. It's, it's like 15 centimeters into the net, uh, and uh, that is very unusual for a player of his level. Yeah, that's good. 12, 13. Now, we were talking about the drift before, and uh, this... Uh, this, as you also mentioned in the beginning, there is a little drift from the left side, uh, and this means that if you lift cross court or hit the shuttle cross court from uh, from the over. right side of the court, then uh, it won't just 14, fly out like well. uh, it normally will. Uh, and this one also got stopped by the wind. Plays Wayne Ann gives that air, doesn't he? Of, uh, it's all so easy for me. Yeah, it <laughs> looks easy now. Howard actually won a rally at the net there. That doesn't happen very often to to Wayne Ann that he loses a rally at the net. Yeah, much stop. Really. Just needs a little more consistency, Howard, than uh, than he would have a chance of taking this set. Uh, but every time he gets close to him, then uh, Howard makes a quite easy mistake. 17, 14. Some uh, nice shots being powered shoot. 15, 17. Both uh, Howard Shu's parents are former players uh, from Taiwan. Wei Nan's uh, originally from, from China. 16, 17. Tried to take a quick point there, but uh, just overplaced it a little bit. He was fast at the net, though. Seventeen all. Well, 
17 all now. It's been a, a very tight game throughout, even though it's... Uh, it... Uh, his I mean, he has saved one of those. Yeah, here in this rally, we can see the speed that he's got and, and the level that he has uh, when he's playing 100%. Uh, but most of this match, he definitely hasn't played 100%. Oh, my cool that is from the Norwegian. Just explain what decision has been made there. Yeah, you, you can't uh, shuttle on the other side of the net, so this means you have to wasn't when he hit it. Oh, yeah, that's tight. And I can see why the umpire has given it. I mean, he has to be sure about it. It's really, really tough to see. But uh, on what a point for it to happen! It would have been. Well, it's got another game point here, but it, it would have been one set all. Yeah, it would have been. And, and but that's uh, mentally strong from Howard, I'd say, to uh, get called by that and then uh, come back and win the next rally. So four game points saved now by ball. Wayne Ant. One that you have to say, saved by the uh, umpire's decision. I have to say, looking at the replay, I uh, got it just. But I mean, very tough to tell. It is tough to tell, and uh, to defend the, the umpire, even if it if it wasn't right, it's it's so hard to tell. We uh, we have the replays uh, in in slow motion that we can actually watch. Uh, how it keeps on coming back. He wants this back. Fifth time lucky, maybe. Got a lot of joy playing uh, this one here. This shot down this side of the court. And he also knows that he needs to put it that close because Wainan is just waiting for this shot. Uh, it would have been very good if he pushed us a little bit into the court, this shot. Just how far he could go. It's almost like he, he was in shock for the first, what, ten minutes of the third game. and He did. And that's the uh, point that saw him as the winner in this uh, topsy-turvy match. A real thriller, wasn't it? 21-18 in the final game. But how could uh, he? Can, he can be proud of himself. He did a very good match and he fought well. Uh, I think uh, tactically uh, he missed a little bit in the end of the of the set when uh, Wainan came back into the game. Uh, but um, uh, he he did well. Oh, excellent, wasn't it? Really good men singles match. So confirmation then that uh, Howard Chu, well, after pushing Wayne Nan in the end, comes out second pace, second best, and Wayne Nan is through to the uh, second round. But next up, we've got a doubles match. Heather Olver and Lauren Smith up against Nadine Ashraf and Meta Al-Tanai.